That's got to be the big one. Just said you saw it on the graph. fish over here. Let's see what we got. There's a good little takedown. It's just kind of sitting there with it. Isn't that a pretty sunrise? This is going to be my first fish on the Potomac. It's going to pull a little bit. It's going to be a good one to start the day with, hopefully. I am parked out on a channel ledge. There's a, a point that comes out behind me along the shoreline, which kind of scrunches the shore together so the, the contour lines get really tight on the graph. That thing's gonna bend it over all right. He's down in about 38 feet of water right now. Uh, gets out to almost 70 at points and then right up on the shore to my left, not too far. So it's a pretty steep drop off right here. Not a bad fish to start the day with. Not bad at all. All right, you've got to check this thing out. I caught Nemo. Check out his two fins. He's got one good one and one little baby fin. That is too funny. That's a cool little fish. He's just over 30 inches, so he'll go down as a 30 inch fish. We're gonna get him out of here, get that bait back in the water and uh, Go see if Dory's in there, I guess. Here goes this rod back here. Look at that, look at that. Let's reel on him. All right, I think we got him. Not the biggest takedown in the world. But he is 100 feet out there, according to my line counter. Got to pull him up this cliff here. Again, it's down to about 60 feet at the bottom of that cliff and I'm only in about 38. So he's probably an additional 20 or so feet below me. Not sure if I'm feeling him against the cliff wall or if he's a halfway decent fish. He's doing all right, he's putting up a fight. on a little piece of hickory shad. I think it's the headpiece. I went out and caught a bunch of bait in Richmond yesterday. I'll link up a video showing how I'm catching my bait uh, lately. That's a nice fish. He might be even a little bit longer than the last one. He's all the way up to the surface already out there. That current pulled him right to the top, I guess. Or maybe he's about the same size. Maybe a little smaller. Now where I am, the left side of me is a little bit protected and then I'm casting towards the main channel on the right side. So I've got a 10 ounce sinker on this side six on the other. Those are holding all right in their respective spots. Let's get a hand on this guy. He thinks he's going to get that headpiece, but I got bad news for him. I'm going to take that back.
All right, that guy is 29 and three quarter inches. Not a bad start. Let's keep it going. We'll get that goober eventually. He's out of here. try a different ramp and a different tactic hopefully a different bait too see you there oh wow that's striper check that out not a bad striper we'll throw them on the board all right that's pretty cool we're gonna get him out of here off to the bottom that's got to be the big one just said you saw it on the graph come on he buried that sucker I'm pretty sure this is the big headpiece from a gizzard shed let me get these other rods up he's down in 45 feet Already tangled himself up. You see him spin my boat around? Yep. Come on. Watch him be the same size I've been catching all day. I don't even think he's off the bottom yet. That's my favorite part about drifting. You see it on the graph and then it goes down. That's what we're looking for. That's a better fish. He was on that trot line, I think. Yep. His gill plates ripped wide open. That's more like it. Check this out. This fish has all this mono coming out of his gills. I'm going to try and cut that off for him. Maybe help him out a little bit. It's ripped his gill plate wide open. It looks like it's embedded in his cheek there. My principal in elementary school always called me Dr. Dan. I guess he's right. All right, so believe it or not, getting caught was this fish's lucky day. There's a trot line not too far up there. 
and I think he was on it at one point. Look at this side of his gill plate here. It's all ripped up. When I looked into it, he had a bunch of mono coming out of it. So I think he was on there at one point. It's all ripped up. We clipped that off for him. Leave him in a better place than we caught him. All right, that's almost a 36 inch blue. And he'll be really happy to go home now. Hopefully feeling a little bit better. Later, dude. Let's see here. He's playing with it. And here we go. I'm going to reel him. There he is. Okay. I think this is more in line with what we caught all morning. It's good to know there's a mixture of fish here. There goes the other rod. Or they're tangled up, not sure yet. Mm, they're tangled. Look at that. I don't know if you can see down in his mouth or not. He's got a gizzard shed in there. We are hooked up on this back rod. We're dragging two off the side, suspending two off the other side. These two are behind me as I move down the ledge here. This is just going to be a little guy. I know it. I'm almost to a spot I'm pretty excited about. I'm drifting a ledge between two coves. Yeah, there we go. Alright, check out that little guy. He's got to go. We got bigger fish that we need baits down there for. Got one over here on the dragon rod, I believe. He's going to go swim across the side of the boat there. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Odds are he's right around 30 inches. That's how today's going. All the way across. Yep. That's what he is. About 27 inches again. Who would have thought? All right, we started a long drift, and here's our first fish about 10 minutes in. It's our first one in the morning, actually. He was peeling a little bit of drag. Hopefully he's got some size to him. Marked a bunch of big fish along my way to the beginning of this drift. Just got to catch them now. What a perfect backdrop we have here. Isn't that cool? Really steep drop off down to about 45 feet coming off the bank over here. I'm just working that ledge. Seeing what I can pull in. I'm drifting about half a mile an hour. The winds were absolutely insane this morning, so it's good that things are calming down a little bit today. I'm or dragging these two rods out the left side of my kayak, and it's a decent fish. And I'm, uh, ooh, I don't know how well he's hooked. So I'm dragging these two rods off the left side of my kayak and suspending the other two. So let's get this fish in and measured. And that's our first one of the day. I've been in the water for two and a half hours. He's a fatty. Open up. Open up. All right, 31 and a half incher to start the day. He actually knocked my identifier overboard, so I've got to go back and pick that up. Let's get him out of here. He's going to go back to munching. And hopefully we can tell his friends we're not so bad and they should bite too. All right, we just had a really big thump on that same drifting rod. We started to peel drag immediately. That's going to be a better fish. Yep, that's what we're looking for. I saw a big mark on the graph when we went over it. 
and this was probably another 20 or 30 feet behind me and looks like he might have went after it let's hope it was the one i saw that's a heavy fish come on baby that's right productive drift so far two fish better than anchoring this morning where i didn't even get a nibble i think we'll just keep running this back and eventually when the tide changes we'll do it the other way it's a nice fish Upgrading. This one is 34 and a quarter inches. He's a little spunky. He had twisted up in the line so he wasn't able to fight on the way in. He's ready to fight in the boat and that's never a good combination in a kayak. So we're gonna get him out of here while he's fresh. He's gonna be gone. No time, right back down to the bottom. Look at that. All right, we just got back to the top of our drift. We're gonna go back down. We stopped at, uh, there's two coves and we were drifting the ledge between them. This rod's starting to get hit. But I'm gonna drift all the way back to that first cove and then all the way across the mouth. Take down, take down. And uh, once I get across that cove, then I'll see what happens. I haven't drifted the mouth of that one yet. This one's gotta break 30 inches in order to count for me. Now this is a two day tournament. Each day is its own tournament, but it's a Saturday tournament and a Sunday tournament. That's a good one. That sure helps. This might be the biggest one of the day. <laughs> There's a boat anchored over here. I just got to the drift and caught a fish within the first minute there. Not please. Strong fish. That was a good takedown. I don't know if you could see that on the camera. Probably not the tip of it, but maybe the edge of it. go Let's see how long he is 35 and three quarters that's gonna match my big fish from yesterday and be my new big fish for today that's right that's gonna be a good drift I can feel it he was down in the mud it looks like he's gonna go right back down there nice 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 this one is going crazy getting all my lines tangled up Get back over here. It's messing everything up. This is gonna be a disaster. Might be a halfway decent fish too. I really gotta get my boat turned up river, but he's trying to swim up river and he'd spun me around. Big jerk. I'll have to measure him, he might end up on my board. leave him here and try and get my boat straightened out before these lines tangle. It's a nice little fish there. Let's bring him forward the green machine. See how much length he has to him. It's got to break 30 to help me. That's a 
39 and a half incher. I could have swore he was going to be just a little bit bigger than my last one, but I've got a 30 as my small fish for today. And he's out of here. Had a pretty nice takedown back here. And now to that other cove. I don't think it's going to be a very big fish, but he sure hit it hard. He buried that thing. Maybe I could be surprised, we'll see. That's a pretty nice fish, it's just wrapped up in my other line. Awesome. It's a really nice fish. It's a little different here than the James I'm learning. This little spunky guy was 33 inches. He was all wrapped up coming in, so he is full of energy again. Look at that belly on him. Holy cow, he's munching. I think they're getting ready for spawn. He's out of here. Take down back here. He's on, that was a big hit. Feels like it could potentially be a heavy fish. Oh yeah. It's pulling hard. We're probably about two thirds of the way across that other cove. It's a nice fish. Of course, it's all tangled up in my other rod now. What a mess. shook his head and got away as I was trying to deal with this mess right here and get him in the boat. I had to let slack out and try and get him in here and I was just taking too long messing with him. I was just reeling in some rods and it feels like we might have a fish on this one. And we do. Look at that. Kind of lassoed on there, just a little guy. be the last one of the trip here so I think we're gonna call it a trip and head on back to the boat ramp and start the drive home can't wait to take you on a hunt for some goobers real soon